So let's say you want to run the unfinished shuffle mode that was implemented in Sinar Wild Hearts, but only kind of, and isn't present in the finished game in an accessible way, but still exists if you know where to look. Well, I know where to look, and by the end of this video, so will you. So, there are three things we're going to need to pull this off. The first is the description of this video. Uh, the second is a calculator that knows how to do hex. And the third is Cheat Engine. Uh, there are probably other tools you could do this with, but Cheat Engine is the one that I know how to use. Uh, so it's the one that I'm going to be using. Uh, so I'm going to fire up the game. And the game's going to open, and we don't care. We're going to all tab back out of it and attach Cheat Engine to it. And then the first step is we are going to take the hex from the description and copy, and set the value type over here to array of byte and paste and first scan, and it will give us exactly one result. And so the thing that we just copied and pasted is code that grabs the menu logic from the, uh, from the game's code. And so this will let us find where in memory the menu logic is being stored so that we can change which mode it wants to be in. So... We're going to right-click and copy that address. And we're going to go into our calculator, make sure it's in hex mode and paste. Switch to decimal mode, plus 60 oh, equals. Switch back to hex mode and copy. And then we're going to add address manually. Check the box for pointer, hit add offset, go in here and paste and take out the spaces. Leave this one at zero, and then this top one we're going to pull from the description again is F50, and the description is page. And so if we want a little more useful information here, we can right click this and say show as signed. And what that'll do is tell us more usefully what the value is. Because this value in memory represents which level the game thinks you're playing, essentially. Or if you're in album arcade or YOLO arcade, or as it happens, shuffle mode. So what we can do is we can right click and set hotkeys. We can create a hotkey on, I'm gonna use control shift four to set value to 24, which happens to be album arcade. And then I'm going to use control shift five to set the value to 26, which it turns out is shuffle mode. 25, in case you're curious, is YOLO arcade. So now we have control shift four to jump into album arcade mode and control shift five to jump into shuffle mode. But unfortunately we have more work to do than that. Uh, so we're going to add address manually again and pointer add offset. And we're going to take this copy again and paste again, check out the spaces again and the offset for shuffle text that is one, the one that we are going to pull from the description, the 7E0. And this value is going to be 0, uh, which we expect. Actually, okay, if you want to give it a description, uh, shuffle text is a fine description for that. Just, But you don't really need to give it that. Uh, so when it's in shuffle mode, it tries to set like status text about shuffle mode. But... Since the since shuffle mode isn't actually in the game, then that text doesn't exist. And since that text doesn't exist, when it tries to update that, it just won't do anything. Uh, and so that is going to wind up...
causing some problems if we aren't careful. So we're going to hit the find out what accesses this address button and we'll say yes to that and find out what accesses the address pointed at by this pointer. That won't do anything. We're going to go back into the game, go into extras, fire up album arcade. Skip the cutscene just for good measure. We're going to press Control Shift 5 to switch into shuffle mode, and it's going to be weird. And then we're going to press Control Shift 4 to switch back into normal mode and press Escape to pause. And that weirdness is what happens when it tries to set the text, but the text isn't there. It just confuses the hell out of it. And when it gets confused, it doesn't do the playing the video game part. And we want it to do the playing the video game part. Uh, so we're going to hit select this. We, we know which line we want because it's the one that happened a bunch. And then we hit select it, we hit show disassembler. Now this is soup. We can make it slightly less soup by going into the main sheet engine window, window going into the mono menu and hitting activate mono features. Uh, it's still kind of soup, but we have... So it's telling us that this is in the SG menu handler class from the on late update function, and we are kind of deep in the guts of it. So it's telling us that this, this line right here is where it starts. This is the line that tries to get the text that it's going to try to set. And so this line causes problems. So what we're going to do is set bookmark zero here. Uh, that didn't actually do anything visually. Uh, uh, we'll just, okay, we'll set slash change comment and we will say this is where problems start. Now that's just a note for us. Uh, so we're going to scroll down a bunch and see where uh, the problems end. And I have already been staring at this all day, so I know that the problems end down here where it's move whatever R13 and some soup. So we're going to right click and set or change comment after problems. So this is after problems. The problems start up there. So what we're going to do is go through everything before after problems and we're just going to make all of our problems go away. So we're going to right click on this instruction and replace with code that does nothing. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then right click here, replace with code that does nothing. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. And we're just gonna go up here and do that for all of them until we get back to where the problems started. Uh, and it was very important that we went back into uh, album arcade mode uh, because if we hadn't done that, then this process, we would be replacing half of this with code that does nothing while it was still running this code. And that would lead to unpleasantness and just it would fail to spark joy uh, on the code's perspective. Uh, so we have a lot. Unfortunately, we can't just select all of these lines and tell them all to replace with code that does nothing. Uh, maybe they've added that in a more recent version of Cheat Engine. Uh, the first time I was trying to deal with this mess today, it uh, said there was an update available and I didn't want to install it. Uh, so maybe They've added that in a more recent version of Cheat Engine, uh, but the one that I'm using, they don't have it. And so it isn't here. So this is a couple of things that already didn't do anything. Uh, I don't know quite why that's already in there, but uh, do not get confused. We can skip those because they already don't do anything and we don't need to create, we don't need to turn already doing nothing into doing more nothing. Uh, we have a lot of nothing that needs doing. Uh, yeah, 
And with luck, we are almost there. Yep, okay, the end is in sight. Nothing. Code that does nothing. Code that does nothing. Okay, so this is where the problems started. And if we replace where the problems start with code that does nothing, then if we did everything right, there are no longer problems. And we can go back into the game, which is currently in album arcade mode. We can press Control shift 5 to switch it into shuffle mode. And if we are extraordinarily lucky, then it will now do shuffle things at some point. zero chance that this is going to crash the game by the time the level ends. Oh, well it didn't do that. Oh, I think it... I think it shuffled. I think it shuffled. Yep, it's shuffling. now playing in shuffle mode. And now, assuming that my instructions were good and you followed them correctly, uh, you are also playing shuffle mode. Uh, which is a lot to assume, because I... I am just kind of guessing, and it's possible that I left something important out that I had already done, or like, knew implicitly to do. Uh, so let me know down in the comments if this worked for you. Uh, but yeah. That's... That's Shuffle Mode. Uh, also, uh, importantly, if we want to quit. Uh, we have to switch back into album arcade mode first uh, with our control shift 4 hotkey that we set up earlier. Uh, because if we don't... Oh! Ah! And then it will quit out to menu. Uh, because pause and quit, as far as I can tell, if you do it from shuffle mode, will just kind of freeze the game in a way that it like, switching back to album arcade mode won't even fix. And if we quit the game and restart it again, we're going to have to do all of the cheat engine setup again, uh, because where the memory handler logic lives will have changed. But... That exists. That's how you do it. Uh, shout out to Smogo for making a very good video game. And picking to implement. Uh, they tweeted about it. I'm going to link the tweet in the description if I remember. And apparently, they instead of finishing that feature, they added Parallel Universes, which is my favorite non-boss level in the entire video game. Uh, so props to them for making the right choice there. Uh, and for leaving enough of the code in that we can still use this feature anyway. Uh, yeah. That's all I got.